Rafael Dobkins, living in Bulgaria. I'm a professional roofer, and this is how we do a roof inspection. Okay, so this roof uh, has been built last year. I put it on. Um, everything is brand new. The tiles are second hand, but very good tiles. And basically what you want to do is, you want to start off with walking around the roof. If the roof had gutters and a chimney, then they would be inspected too. This roof uh, is still construction, so there's no gutters to inspect. So from the bottom we'll just look at the ledges, uh, the ledge and the hips. Make sure everything's cemented nicely, look for any broken tiles. And try just to find any problems. We'll pay good attention to the fascia boards. We want to see that the fascia boards are straight level, not rotten, not sagging. I would walk around the whole roof from the bottom first. So on this particular roof I see that there's no soffit. That's going to be installed uh, probably this spring. But I would take a good look at the soffit if there was one. Um, Another thing that I can see is it shows me that there is a hydro insulation over here, a water barrier, which means uh, there's boards on top of the rafters. So at least I know that when I'll be walking on the roof like this, there's less chance of breaking a baton and falling through. I will take, a, I'll move further away and look at the fascia board. I want to see that fascia board is perfectly level. I want to see that there's no lot in uh, places. I'll, if I can see the rafters, then I'll inspect them from the bottom before I climb on the roof. Before going onto the roof, an attic inspection is a must. Um, I've had situations where I've actually almost fallen through old uh, roofs where you step somewhere and suddenly a batten breaks under you, a bunch of tiles go down and you find yourself halfway down up to your waist. You must always inspect the roof from the bottom before you climb on top. These are old roofs over here in Bulgaria, many of them are over 100 years old. You just don't know what you're walking on, okay? Like I said before, this is a new roof that we put on last year, so we're not really going to find problems as much as we're going to show you what we want to see. Um, basically, this is all pine. Over here, many of these old roofs would be oak. This beam, for example, is oak. Uh, the rest is pine. Uh, there's a few oak beams over here. Okay, you must walk only on the beams. Um, many of these roofs you'll have cob between the beams holding up the ceiling and that will be your ceiling. Do not stand on the cob, stand only on the beams themselves. Okay, a quick look at this roof tells me, like I said before, that there is a water belly, a hydro insulation that goes under the tiles. You can see it, that's the boards above me. That's, that's the good, that's the proper way to do things. Uh, it also tells me that I can safely walk on top. Another thing is I'm going to look at all the rafters. I'm going to check every single rafter and I'm going to look for a lot. I'm going to look for a lot on my purlins. The purlins are the big guys that are going that way, holding, supporting the rafters. The rafters are the thin guys that are going down. But most leaks usually start at ridges and at hips. Hips are the corners, the four corners of a pyramid. So we've got four hips on this roof. Yeah, in all the four corners. Uh, hips and ridges and chimneys are where leaks start. The chimney was, on this roof, the chimney used to be here. And the house almost collapsed in this area. There was huge, huge leaks. Everything was rotten. We put in brand new beams over here. But we did keep these old oak beams because they're super solid and they're in very good condition. So that's only the A-flame of this roof that we kind of kept and then all the rest we put on brand new. Um, so here's another hip. These hips are big, 14 by 14. Very good condition. Yeah, I'm very happy with them. I know that I can walk safely on this roof. 
check all posts make sure all posts are in good condition everything must be held up super sturdy okay we don't want a lot and we don't want something that might fall here's a purlin very good condition I see that there's no lot on it I see that there's no lot on this the loft is okay I know I'll be safe when I walk on top I do not uh, while walking inside like we said you step only on wood if this was a house that hasn't been renovated there would be cob between the beams you step on the cob you could go through the ceiling never step on the cob keep walking around walk around go over every bit don't leave anything unseen this is a good way to start finding your leaks you water damage would show up immediately on the cob on the beams and you could locate your leaks and then climb up on the roof later on and find them if the attic would be dark then of course I would take a light, a torch, a flashlight, call it what you want and I would walk around with that and I would light and I would, I would shine it everywhere up and down looking for uh, a lot of uh, possible damage and the leaks themselves now that I've inspected the attic and I'm happy I know that the, 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 the structure is solid I know that there's a solid foundation under me I'm ready to climb up and go and check the roof from the top which is the most important part of a roof inspection a roof must be checked from the top that's where the land comes from and that's what you have to look at once on the roof uh, you start with just first looking around okay you want to make sure uh, that the roof is safe to walk on that there's no if you see any ditches any any anything that doesn't look perfectly straight that's where you don't walk okay very important so we take a look at this roof and we say to ourselves okay so it's a four hip short ledge I look at the tiles what is the quality of the tiles of this roof are they flaking away if the tiles are flaking away then sometimes you find tiles that are very bad quality and all tiles just like flaking away turning to nothing that is a tile I would replace them all I would not keep those tiles this is these are good quality tiles these are old tiles clay and very tough very tough you can hear them they've been fired properly this is a good tile so I walk around I'll look and make sure that there's no that all the tiles are one type that they're all interlocking um, many times because of lack of money you could find uh, roofs that have more than one type of tile a roof that has more than one type of tile is a roof that's always going to have problems it's always going to give problems because they're not interlocking the wind will come and will shift them blow them off blow them down and that's where leaks start you want to have one type of tile throughout your whole roof but it is possible to find a roof a good roof that has one type of tile on this slope and a totally different type of tile on this slope but still the whole slope is one type of tile very important it's wise to inspect a roof in a rhythm so I like doing clockwise so I would start at one point and walk around the whole roof in a clockwise manner and come back to that same spot and go off the roof so I'm standing over here keep away from the overhang uh, I'll look over here. I'm looking for. I'm looking for broken tiles. I can't see any broken tiles. I'm very happy with that. I would come closer to here, and I want to inspect. I want to inspect my uh, the, the ridge caps. Okay. Uh, I want to see that they got mortar underneath them. I want to see that they've been cemented properly. I don't want to see a lot of cement. I don't want to see it packed like that because that's not good because when it's packed like that water can come in from here and go under the cement you want to have the water come in from the bottom and cleaned off perfectly so the water slides down and goes away this is nice 
the bottom flea we didn't do because we still have to put gutters onto this roof this year and you have to lift up these tiles so these are not done but this is something that you don't want to see on a roof because this can fly away it moves this is not good okay so you want to have mortar you want to have things fixed in place you want to have everything done proper like i said once we put on the gutters we'll take off these tiles and then we'll cement these guys back on when you're walking you step far you don't step close to the ledge itself because you can move things okay you step far okay so we're going around clockwise step far and keep going Inspect the tiles. Inspect the quality of the ridge caps. So these are our new ridge caps and they're good. I'm happy with them. I'm happy with the mortar. Over here, down here, we will mortar this once the gutters come on. I step far and I keep going around. I will walk down over here and I'll look up. I'm looking for ditches in the roof and I'm looking broken tiles, black tiles, anything that doesn't look good to me will get changed. Once I've gone along the whole roof, I will go up to the ledge, I'll put a, I'll look at the ledge very well, I'll put good inspection on the ledge, once that's done, if there are any chimneys on this roof, I'll go over those chimneys. Over here, step four, okay, over here I see, I've noticed this for example, so I would come here and pay proper attention to this tile. I want to see why it's up. I understand why it's up. It's just because this is a very short tile. It's been cut like that, it's been put in like that. But a good inspection of the next tile over tells me that it's a double channel. That means that this tile comes all the way to here. So water can never come in. There's two channels on this tile that are going all the way to here under this tile. Any water that comes from here, get taken down. No problem with that. I'm happy to tiles like that. There's another one. Look over here. Tells me a double channel coming to here. That's not a lead. It's impossible. So I'm um, all the way, I'm almost all the way around my roof. I've done all three slopes. I come back to the first slope. Step far. Go over. I come back to here. I've got it here. I've seen it. There's no broken tiles. I'm really happy. Ну что, вы